Good morning. Um, for those of you who are new to the station or to BCTV, I'm Steve Eldridge. I'm the town manager here. Um, this is uh, my quarterly or uh, maybe more frequent uh, update in what's going on uh, from my perspective in the town of Berwick. Um, first of all, I hope you're all doing well and dealing with this pandemic. It's nice to see I mean, uh, that everybody, things that get the numbers are getting better. Um, and we've been very fortunate in the town office that nobody has uh, come down with COVID. Uh, we've had a few scares, but and, uh, otherwise, but uh, nobody um, has had COVID, which is, we're all very happy about that. And everybody follows the rules that come in, including staff wearing masks and, and keeping their social distancing. Uh, what we've been doing most of the time for this last uh, three months is working on the budget for the 20, 21, 2022 fiscal year. Um, we've uh, pretty much, we'll be finishing it up tomorrow night with the Board of Selectmen, at least the uh, department reviews. Um, we this year uh, made it a point that we did not fund any extra items, the capital improvement items or, or additional personnel. Um, we kept it to a minimum on our expense side, which is down by 4%. But our revenue side, we used a lot of unassigned fund balance last year, and this year we're not using any to offset, offset the taxes. We wanna keep that where it is, uh, as required by um, uh, policy. So, but we are gonna be doing roads this year, um, which is a real plus. We still have lots of work to do. Uh, and we'll come out with a list of what we're going to do once we, the budget passes uh, and, and when it's going to start. Um, I have reached out uh, to the engineering firm who's working on the bridges. Um, again, that's a project that we're going to have to put off this year. Uh, but hopefully uh, in the 22-23 budget, uh, we'll plan on doing Diamond Hill Road, uh, which is a 50-50 split with the board, uh, with the um, Department of Transportation. Um, otherwise, uh, this is our first year uh, we've had the library, and I want to say thank you to the Library Association and uh, especially Sharon Kelly. Uh, she's absolutely awesome and has an awesome staff. The transition has been very smooth, um, and we're glad they're on board, and it's nice to have her at meetings, and, and they're doing well. Considering the pandemic, they've done a great job with making sure all the services that they have are available to everybody who wants to use them there. So uh, we're very excited about that. And if you haven't seen the programs that they run, you really need to go on their website. It's almost overwhelming how much work that they do uh, and what they provide for the town. Great Falls, the prime site, I'll give you a quick update on that if you haven't seen what's going on. Um, they are now before the planning board, trying to get planning board approval to move forward on their master plan. And if you had a chance to see uh, them, they've been, they have been have done seven uh, in, not in person, it started in person, but now it's through Zoom, uh, where they are in the planning process um, for design of the site. Um, it's very, very exciting. They've already uh, signed on a uh, grocery store and butcher. Uh, in the same roof. That's very exciting. We hear there's a bank coming. We don't know who it is yet. Um, and a coffee shop, and they're still talking to a lot of other people. But that's very exciting. Uh, they plan on demolishing the concrete building uh, and where the old office building is. Those are all coming down. They say they can't work with those. They're just in too difficult shape. So that should happen within the next month or two. Uh, you'll see equipment there and stuff coming out of both all of the buildings before they rip them down. But hopefully they'll break ground sometime this uh, summer. We'll start seeing work done on the site. And we are all very excited about what Great Falls and, uh, and their group are doing. It's, it's a great plan and they've worked with Envision Berwick and the town extremely well. Um, so the water department, uh, we've made some changes there. Chris Weissman is no longer the chief operator. He moved on. So uh, we put uh, Star Glenn, who is licensed as the interim chief operator. Um, 
and Tyler and Auden is, is also a class four license and, and the two of them are working very well together and uh, staying on, trying to stay on top of the water quality. Um, Wright Pierce, we are still moving forward with them uh, doing drill, drilling for uh, wells, aquifers under the ground versus surface water. Um, we uh, had about 15 sites that they uh, initially picked that had aquifers under the ground. Uh, I, we chose uh, about 10 of them that were close by the existing plant uh, so we wouldn't have to run a lot of pipe if, if we find something. Uh, and they will be uh, doing visiting with landowners who have given permission for them to explore under the ground on their property. Um, and they will be doing that come April, they said. I just signed a contract for that. So they want to wait till the snow is gone. I, they say it will take them maybe a month to maybe uh, two months to get all that squared away meeting with the landowners, talking with them, looking at where they can get equipment in to uh, do some test wells and see what kind of response we get uh, from underground water, which will be a little bit easier to, uh, to treat uh, moving forward and hopefully get rid of the uh, manganese and iron that w this plagued this community for many, many years. Um, that's the goal. Um, but we're still moving forward on doing some replacement of equipment um, pumps and things in, in the existing plant that need work. We're also going to be tying in to the sewer district, which was done years ago, uh, and get rid of some of the alum and other uh, byproducts of what we were using, uh, receive, getting out of the river water. Uh, so hopefully we will have two sources of water and hopefully the artesian wells um, will be the main source. Um, we. Uh, have a new person on board uh, in the customer service, if you haven't been in. Her name is Kelly Gagney. We're very excited to have her on board. Um, that position became, became available. Our, our longtime deputy clerk, Lynn Shira, took an opportunity uh, to move to Wyoming. She and uh, her husband, Jim, are uh, planning on doing that, and she started a new job up there. And we wish her luck. She uh, was a good deputy clerk. She, uh, she's been with us a long time uh, doing general assistance, and I'm sure she'll do uh, very well um, in her new home, wherever that will be. Um, otherwise, uh, it's, this is a relatively slow period for us. All we're doing is working on the budget and trying to keep people safe. Um, if you have any questions, my door is always open, uh, and my phone, I, I return phone calls. I make that a priority. Please, please stay safe. That's the most important thing to do right now. Uh, please wear your masks, keep your social distancing, and I hope you all get a, a, a vaccination soon.